and yet you do feel like you are actually there and they're actually speaking to you. It's like having a one-on-one -on -one teacher instead of being in a whole class. <laughs> Hi everyone, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I'm very excited to do this video because I am actually getting my makeup certification. In other words, when I finish the course, I'm going to be able to call myself a pro makeup artist. And I want to thank Online Makeup Academy for giving me the opportunity to take this course in exchange for review to tell you guys about it. You know that I have loved makeup forever. Obviously, I have a makeup channel. My mom first started letting me wear makeup as soon as I got into high school. I started high school at 13 and I turned 14 once I was in high school. And I was so excited the day that she said I could actually wear makeup. And it has been a love ever since. I am very, very glowy today because I put on my moisturizer and then I'm using the Elemis Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer. And uh, as you can see, it definitely, definitely gives me a glow. So what I figured I would do is I would do a get ready with me and tell you about the course, what it entails. I am going to be inserting some clips so you can see a little bit about what the course entails. I'm using my tint brightening eye cream because, again, although it's not completely moisturizing, it definitely acts as a base to counteract dark circles. Of course, you guys know, I know a little bit about makeup. I mean, I've, I've learned things. I have done makeup on other people before, but not as a pro. And this course is pretty amazing because it is an absolute legitimate course. You will get an OMACA certification certificate when you take the course. It is not by any means just a fluff run-of-the-mill course. This is a real makeup course that you would take if it was in person, but it is online and you can do it at your leisure, which is what I like because I don't have a lot of time. I don't have a lot of attention span, which I will say. So I can take the course at my own time and not feel the pressure or even have to leave my house. I can take it in my pajamas. The great thing about this course is if you are looking to become a pro makeup artist, they will teach you everything from the basics on what to wear and what type of kit you need and the products that you need to go out and do makeup on a professional basis. But one of the best things is when you sign up for the course, they are going to give you a kit basically to start you off. I did not get that kit because again, I am taking the course for free. Now, if you guys do wind up signing up for the course, I don't make a commission if you do, but I do have a discount code, which I'm going to put on the screen, and I'm also going to put it in a pinned comment as well. So if you're interested, you can also save some money in taking the course as well. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Match Foundation, and I am in N3. There's a couple of really things that I found interesting. Now, this is not a short course that you're going to finish even in one day, because it is the same thing as I said if you were taking it in person. But there are lots of modules to the course, so you can take them again section by section at a time. A couple of other things that I think is fantastic is once you get your certification, you actually get pro makeup discounts up to 40% off, and I'm going to put some of the brands that you can get it on, on get it from on the screen. I first started taking the course when I went to get my first infusion. So I brought my computer along and it was pretty great because my infusions are at least six hours. And it was a great time while I'm hooked up to the IV to sit there and take this course. And then I have been taking it section by section all along. I have a lot going on right now, as you can tell by my lack of uploads. But I've really been, been enjoying it because the instructors are really engaging and the videos, some of them are, are long, but some of the video clips in each module are short enough that you can do them in short clips. And I said each of the makeup artists are pros themselves. They know what they have talking are talking about. They've been in the industry for a long time. Another thing that I found awesome is you get lifetime access to the program and any updates that they're going to give to the lessons. And that's amazing because it's not like once you watch the video, it's cut off and you can never see it again. You go back, you review it. And also in the, in the whole program, you can take notes inside of the program. As you're watching the video, you can make the video large, you can adjust it. And you can actually type on the side to take notes on each module because yes, there is homework. Yes, there are quizzes and you can even submit 
your work, you videotape it, you submit the work, you're going to get personalized video responses from the people running the course. So instead of doing your makeup in person and having somebody stand there watching your work and then critiquing it and tell you what to do better, you film it, you submit it, you're going to get graded, and it's really like taking the certification course without having to be there in person. You know, there's something to be said. I enjoy doing my makeup. I enjoy learning different techniques. And so far, I've learned a lot about all of the basics. They have this great section on color theory that I am so excited to get into. So, fun fact, everyone. I just discovered that you cannot screen record with audio on a Mac without downloading a separate program. My Mac does not have the memory capability for me to download that. So, as the video is going on, I'm going to just explain what she was talking about. She's showing the color wheel and the three basic colors, your yellow, your red, your blue. And she's just talking about how the colors are mixed to create other shades. And then she goes into color correction. It was a really fun but short section that I enjoyed. I know how to do makeup on myself, but it is very different doing makeup on someone else. And I can tell you that part from experience because I've done makeup on other people. It's, it's just not the same because you have this different perspective. We all know our own faces, but what they are teaching you about is different shaped faces, different skin tones, different skin types, and how to make the makeup look best on all of them. I really am liking this foundation. It's not too heavy. It really doesn't kick up on me, and uh, it's just one that I have been enjoying. For my concealer, I'm going to be using... This is the Koki Be Bright Illuminating Concealer. It is a little bit dark for me, but believe it or not, it still works, and it says that it is in medium beige. I usually take, like, a light medium. One section that I really enjoyed, too, is in the beginning when they're talking about the things that you really do need to buy. They are big on the sanita sanitization processes and the things that you have to do when you work on other people. We have to be cognizant of you really shouldn't be using these. You, sh um, you should be using disposable and everything to keep you clean, sanit sanitary, and of course, following the rules in your state if you're going to be working on other people. But they also talk about what you need in your kit. Everybody, if you're a pro makeup artist, you're going to have a kit. Because I just did my foundation, I wanted to mention that you don't need to buy every single foundation and every shade to match all of your client's skin tones. You can buy several foundations in a light and medium dark and then use the mixing mediums. Like I have, you know, my favorite, where is it? These are not that expensive. I know several brands make them, but the LA Girl Pro Color Foundations uh, Mixers, you can create the perfect shade for your client and or yourself. And I have something in my eyeball, so this eye is going to get super duper red. I just tried to get it out, but uh, wasn't quite successful. I'll also give you a section on things like how to not make it look cakey, how to fix your foundation if it does get cakey, now, some of the things, as I said, I definitely already knew because I've been doing my makeup for so long and I was always, you know, before there was the internet, I would buy books and magazines and do all kinds of things. But again, I liked the pro aspect because they're talking about like the industry standards that every makeup artist should follow. As a makeup artist, you should be able to work on any skin tone, any skin type, any age. That is what's going to make you that professional, and that's where I want to be. Because again, I don't, I know my own face, but I want to learn how to do makeup for everybody. Today, I'm going to use my Smashbox powder. This is the Photo Finish Setting Powder in shade 01, and then I am using my Becca Pink Powder. You know how all over TikTok and YouTube, pink powder is all of the rage now. Well, Becca came out with pink powder, oh, a very, very long time ago. This one's called Pink Haze. It doesn't have any sparkle in it, but it is definitely brightening. And I had forgotten that I had had this. But, of course, again, now everybody, you know, people start trends or whatever, and then things become popular again. You don't want to overdo the pink powder, but as you can see, it's just going to really brighten up my face. Sometimes I use it in my, underneath my eyes, but peach works better underneath my eyes. Being able to take notes in the app and also being able to submit questions to them, take 
that little module, I do the module, I write down my notes and it's like, okay, what didn't I understand or what do I need a little bit more feedback on? And that aspect is great. Yeah, you're not getting an answer in the immediate moment, but you're also not going to wait long for it. You know, part of me had always wanted to become a pro, but you know, life takes you in all kinds of different directions and uh, it just never happened. So I'm really kind of excited to be doing this. I have the Urban Decay Velvetizer. I forgot that I had a brand new unopened one because this has been one of the best powders for underneath my eyes. I still like the Laura Mercier and though I do want to try what Clara Barrera has recommended, which is the, is it the Pat McGrath? I'm going to have to ask her again, but I want to learn also more about doing makeup on mature skin because, you know, you can't always do the same thing on younger people as you're going to do on a more mature face. And again, you should be able to, when you're done with this course, to be able to accommodate every skin tone, every age, etc. I kind of wish my mom was still around because I would have loved to take what I've learned and just like practice on her. That's the only thing I'm going to have a problem with is finding people to do the makeup on so I could, you know, submit it as part of my assignments. Because as I said, at the end of each module, you, you know, have questions you have to answer and then you have to submit a homework assignment. You know, they have students from all over the world and of every age group. There, there is no limitations on who can take this course. Unlike Makeup Academy, they are actually a licensed in-person course in New York City. The other section that I enjoyed because I just finished the module uh, the other day was on contouring. I know how to contour and you see contouring all over, you know, beauty YouTube, but the looks that they achieved because they do show you on actual models. Some things are on whiteboards when they're explaining face shapes and eye shapes which I really found interesting. They use so little product. They use just enough product to achieve what they're trying to achieve and you see people like doing these big harsh stripes with the contour and everything's over exaggerated but I think most people want to do makeup for real life and have people look human in public and with the contour, she added such a little bit of contour and it was almost non-existent. But when you compared like the bare side to the finished side, you're like, wow, that makes the subtle difference. And you know, she talked about how it's going to stop at the top of the ear and you never want to drag your contour down because that's going to drag your face down. And you can see I'm just blending this out, but I'm really stopping, they say not to go past the eye. And you can see that I'm stopping here and you can see the difference in the two. And again, if I want to go back and review it and see exactly what she did, I can zoom it out. If she, was, if she was doing it in person, there is no instant replay, which is another reason that I'm really enjoying it being online. And yet you do feel like you are actually there and they're actually speaking to you. It's like having a one-on-one -on -one teacher instead of being in a whole class. My lips are a little bit dry at the moment, so I'm going to be using the Artist Couture... I think they call this their slick tins. I love this, but I hate the way the doe foot applicator goes in here. This stuff is amazing, but please improve the applicator. <laughs> you know, I think I'm going to use my Patrick Ta and she's seductive. I've been trying to pull out products. You know, I've been really enjoying a lot of my products lately because I'm not really buying a lot. So I'm getting to go and find the things that I'm really loving. They also talk about blush placement. Obviously, I, I keep mentioning the things that they're talking about. They're obvious things because they're all parts of makeup, but I'm just remarking on the things that stood out to me. And they talk about different blush placement and how it's going to make a difference on the shape of the face. That's why in the beginning, they talk about face shapes and not everyone wants to correct things. I want to say, you know, you're correcting this, but some people say, I want my face to be slimmer or I want my face to be fuller and what have you. So if that is what you're going for, what the client goes for, because I think it's really all about pleasing the client and giving them what they want. So they do give you the tips, tricks, and tools to be able to do that. 
I forgot to add regular bronzer. I do want to bronze around here because I do have a bit of a larger forehead these days and for me in wanting to correct that, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my Benefit Hula. I just have a little baby mini. I've been dipping into this one a lot actually as well. And I'm just going to lightly dust on the side of my temples and again on my forehead. I stay much as me being so scattered brained, but I stay engaged with every single video and every single thing that I'm learning. I used my It Cosmetics Brow Power in a Universal Taupe. It's uh, one of my well used and well loved products. I got my Keys Soul Care. This is the Soft Stay Brow Gel. I've only used it like once or twice. I love the packaging. It's just her packaging is just awesome. I also like the brush size because it is a tiny brush and this works pretty well. I do feel it in my brows, but it's not like I feel like they're glued together. So, I mean, it's doing its job. It's holding it together, so. Okay, I picked up this palette. You tell me why. I don't think I have to explain a gosh darn thing to you. It is for Halloween. It's Hello Kitty. It's a kitty. It's Hello Kitty wearing a kitty outfit. I mean, you know. This is called the Twinkle Twinkle. It's the uh, limited edition palette. I thought... This is from the Creme Shop, by the way. I thought, because I wasn't wearing my glasses, that it said it was $6.99. When I got to the register, it was $16.99, which I think is um, sort of kind of absurd, but it's Hello Kitty. Anyway, comes with a, a cute little mirror, which I like, and a little Hello Kitty here. And these are the shadows. This um, purple really intrigued me. I thought it was really quite nice, but it's also got some basic neutrals, which I love. I have not gotten fully into many of the eyeshadow techniques yet and I'm really really looking forward to getting into those because although I don't do overly creative looks I'm really going to be excited to see what I can learn and what I can create. I'm going to take Bewitching which is which is just like a, a neutral tanny you know that oh boy it's got some peach in it we're, we're going to leave it at that. And I don't want to like really skip ahead too, too much. I'm trying to do it in, in order, but I admit that I have kind of checked out all of, at least one video from all of the modules already so I can get a good feel. So at least I can talk to you guys about it more. I also can't wait to get to the lip section because you know how much I struggle with the shape of my lips and me not feeling confident in them at this point. You know, it's not a bad little palette. At least, of course, on first application, obviously. I don't know how long it's going to last or wear, but uh, off the bat, I kind of do like it, so yay. And remember, like, in-person cor in courses to get your makeup certification are not cheap. And, you know, if, you, if you're sick and you miss a class, you know, that all plays a lot into it. And again, it's not on your own time. What I love about this course, and I'm going to keep repeating it because it's so significant to me, is that I can do this at my own pace and I don't feel the pressure of having to complete it on someone else's time. Taking Sweet Thing, that purple, you, you know I had to use the purple, right? See how this works with a brush. Hey, that's not bad with a brush. I also have to take this Enchanted, which is silver, and I'm going to go right in the center. This one's a bit more glittery. That glittery, glittery, glitter. Yeah, that that's a good word. It's really pretty. I want to take a little bit of the Spooky Hour because it's on the you know purpley side, and I just kind of want to. Do it on the edge so I can lift up my eye a little bit so they don't look pulled down. For me, this course is going to be useful in so many ways. It's going to up my makeup game. It's going to give me the confidence to do makeup on other people. It's going to open up a lot of opportunities for me if I want to do something on the side and, you know, make some money as well. And I will have the confidence to say that I will be an official MUA. The other thing I am excited to learn are eyeliner techniques because I used to be really good at winged liner. As my eyes age, I haven't learned really how to adapt to that. And I know that they're going to have a good section on 
eyeliner techniques. But what's really awesome is how eyeliner really can change the shape of your eyes. So can eyeshadow. I think the amount of techniques you can do and the things you can do, if you don't like the shape of things, I mean, and if you do and you feel beautiful and you, you always look beautiful, that's fine. But I personally want to learn things that, again, if I wanted to make up on clients, that I can help them achieve or do to make them, give them the look that they're looking for. I'm using the Too Faced Killer Liners, which I love. Because I have that silver on my eyes, I want to use my Fenty Beauty How Many Carrots highlighter. This is like a, a putty highlighter. You can use your fingers, but I am going to use a brush today. It's When I use this with my fingers, it's a little bit uh, more intense. I'm going to use a Too Faced lip injection for some plumping. And I'm going to use my Estee Lauder Pure Envy Gloss in Flash Fire. This is a beautiful color. They use, Lancome rather, uses a brush tip instead of a doe foot. And for this particular one, I happen to like it. Let me spray my face before I use my mascara, which I fell in love with the new mascara that I had a sample of. Unfortunately, it's really expensive, so I'm going to use my MAC Fix Plus. And unfortunately, again, how many times can I say that? I fell in love with the Hourglass Caution Mascara. It is triangle-shaped packaging, which is like the, um, the LYS. This stuff is freaking amazing. It looks amazing with primer, and it looks even amazing without primer. Okay, look at my freaking eyes. Uh, no primer, but look at my lashes. So my friends, this is the final look and I'm pretty happy with it. I do want to thank Online Makeup Academy for giving me this opportunity to take the course and I will soon be able to say that I am a pro certified makeup artist. If you guys are interested in taking the course, as I said, I do have a discount code, which I will again put down in a link in the description. If you have any questions about anything that I can answer, if you want more information about the course and everything, I'm happy to do that, so please ask away. Thank you all for watching. I enjoyed sharing this with you. I love you guys tremendously. You are all amazingly wonderful people, and I will see you soon in my next video. I can't wait to come back and show you more of the techniques I learned. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!